Association. And abide by all rules. Welcome back to week two of Masson Football. Uh, we are currently here at the Glen Oak Stadium. I'm Braden Geyer, your play-by-play -play announcer for the night, joined by Robert Fralick, your color commentator for the night. Robert, how you feeling? I mean, you got one versatile team and another team with a lot of raw talent. Maslin coming off a loss from Cincinnati Muller last Friday, and then you got Glen Oak Eagles coming off a win from Shaker Heights. We're looking for a great game tonight. Yeah, Glen Oak's uh, win against Shaker Heights last year was 51 to 24. Uh, they beat him by a pretty good bit, so I'm excited to see what the Tigers have uh, for us tonight. Just looking out this window, the visitor stadium is filled with Tiger fans. The Village Idiots are here. The whole student section is filled up. They're all beach themed tonight. And I just I have a feeling it's going to be a great game tonight. Michael Steigerwald, Dan Kozma, Vince Cardano, and Gary Ritz. As a reminder, some athletic events coming up tomorrow. At 9 a.m., it's the Glen Oak Boys and Girls Cross Country Invitational at Bob Cummings Field. At 10 a.m., it's JV Football at Maslin. Also at 10, Girls Varsity Volleyball Quad Match right here at Glen Oak. Also at 10 a.m. tomorrow, it's Girls Junior Varsity Quad Match at Louisville. Also at 10 a.m. tomorrow, Girls Oakwood Middle School Volleyball at Perry. At noon, it's Girls Varsity Soccer at Louisville. 12-15, it's Middle School Boys and Girls Cross Country Invitational right here at Bob Cummings Field. And then tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock, it's Boys JV Soccer. After tonight's at game, our next week game is going to be away as well, Mansfield. Good luck to all the as we take on Mansfield, September 9th, or September 2nd at 7 p.m., which is going to be our final away game for the season except for playoffs. I believe Mansfield is also the Tigers. It's spelled T-Y-G-E-R-S. That would be a game we've got to launch. Looks like Glen Oak is starting to take the field as well as the Tigers. And here comes our Masson Tigers running for the side. Sometimes being led by number one, Jaden Welch. Also, Lots of pride in these two teams. Glenno can finally secure that victory against Masson. I don't know. I feel like Masson came out tonight and they're ready to play. Um, after last week, I'm sure they had a pretty good talk and they've just been working even harder. I'm excited.
And that was the Glen Oak Band with the national anthem for us tonight. Here before kickoff, everyone here at WHS-TV would like to thank our following sponsors for their financial support, allowing us to bring you tonight's game. Our sponsors are Mears Nissan, Downtown Maslin Association, Doring Vision Center, Friends and Family Credit Union, the Maslin YMCA, the Home Appliance Company, the WHS Alumni Association, Spectrum Orthopedics, Discount Outlet, Maslin Boys and Girls Club, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Discount Tire Outlet, Your Pizza Shop, Medicap Pharmacy, Cosmos Grill, Reliable Heating and Cooling, Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin, Erie Street Pub, and of course, MCTV. Earlier, Glen Oak won the toss and they will be deferring. I believe they will be receiving the ball. A lot of pride to show with these two teams. Fans are hyped up. Student sections are both hyped up. It's going to be a great game tonight. I agree. Direction, it looks like Maslin will be receiving the ball. Kicking off for Glenelg, we have number 16, Luke Thompson. And the kick is up. Caught by Maslin. Running the ball is number 45, Michael Wright Jr. I believe that receive was actually by number 10, Zachary Lieber. Ball is now on the 49-yard line. Slaughter takes the snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson goes, finds that gap up the middle, 40 yard line, 30, 30 yard line, 20 yard line, and goes out. Looks to be out around the 23 yard line. It's now first and 10 for the Madison Tigers, ball on the 24 yard line. Slaughter again, handing off to Hartson. Hartson finding that gap. Gaining a couple more yards from the Madison Tigers. First down. Slaughter receives the snap. Hands off to Hartson again. Hartson goes right up the middle. Just keeps pushing through. Gains even more yards for the Madison Tigers. Now we saw Tigers last week. The line was having quite a bit of trouble against the Mullers defensive line. Let's see if they can change it up here. And it seems like they are doing it pretty well. Slaughter taking the snap. Hands it off to number 17, Freddie Lennox Jr. It's now third and goal for the Madison Tigers. Sada receives the snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson pushes through. It looks like he was just short of the end zone. 
Looks like he was just barely pushed out of that end zone by, looks like the might of about the entire defense. Slaughter receiving the hat. Hands off to Hartson again. Hartson pushes up through that middle. It looks like he is going to get the first touchdown of the night. Hartson on the touchdown. Make it a score. Mass and Tiger 6, Glen Oak 0. Glen Oak does have some big guys on that defensive line. It looks like they're just trying to hold him there, but it doesn't really seem like it's working that much. Yeah, Mass has been doing a great job pushing, finding that gap. Kicking for us is number five, Vinnie Keller. And the kick is good. We're going to score now to Mass and Tiger seven, Glen Oak zero. More Tiger football after our sponsor, Mears Nissan. It took a lot of hard work to get here. But Nissan's beginnings were never humble. We always gave our all to any obstacle that crossed our path. We overcame even the toughest mountains without letting anything stop us. We pushed ourselves through every terrain just to see how far we could go. Our beginnings got us here, but it's thrill that drives us forward to discover what else is possible. This is the new Nissan. Big thanks to our sponsor, Mears Nissan. Kicking off, we have number 87 for the Mass and Tigers, Nolan Hendricks. Number 87, Nolan Hendricks. Seems like after this, Mass's defense is going to get to come out and eat. And it was recovered by number 30. Madison Tigers, Stephen Hogan the second. I don't think Glenn Oak was expecting that at all. Mm -hmm. Bounced off the ground, Maslin was right on it. Looks like Maslin's gonna get the ball back. We've seen this also in the Muller game last week. When Maslin did the same thing, an onside kick recovered by last week was number five, Vinnie Keller. Massa now ball on the 27 yard line, first and 10. Slaughter takes snap, hands off to Hartson again. Hartson goes to the right, but he finds that open gap in the middle. Gains a little bit more yards from Massa Tigers. Looks like he bounced around a little, a little bit over there. Couldn't really find a way around the edge. He was just kind of looking for that open gap and was trying to get through there. Great work by the outside linebackers. Sada receives the snap. He's looking for a pass. Looks like it's going to be to Ardell Banks, just a little short. Uh, the center from number 18, Ardell Banks. Just a little too far, went out in the end zone. Slaughter takes a snap, fakes it to Hartson, looking for a pass. This pass was incomplete, and there's a flag on the play. It was intended for number 10, Zachary Liebler. Fourth down now for the Mass and Tigers. Illegal man downfield. The penalty was declined. It's fourth down. Okay. Fourth down for Mass and Tigers. Nine minutes and 30 seconds left to go. 
Ball on the 21-yard line. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson running up the middle. It looks like he is going to get the first down for the Madison Tigers. I think Coach Moore is feeling antsy today. Took a lot of risk on that fourth down. Could have gave Glen Oak the ball. But no, they got that first down. Sutter takes a snap. Hands off to number 17, Freddie Lennox Jr. Freddie Lennox Jr., the ball carrier. Loss on the play, puts the ball back at the 15-yard line, second down. Second down now for the Madison Tigers, ball on the second-yard line. Or, ball on the 15-yard line, my apologies. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson finds that gap up the middle. He's just getting swarmed by the backfield of the Glen Oak Eagles. Looks like we do have an injured player on the field. And now a message from Downtown Maslin Association. There's so much special about Maslin. You can't walk down the street without smiling and saying hello to someone who knows you, who knows your family. In today's society, we're getting fewer and fewer opportunities for families to enjoy each other in an outside activity that is free. We have that. It's a strong community. People give back. Maslin continues to give back with the residents and businesses to those in need, and, and it's a great thing to be a part of. Thank you, Downtown Maslin Association. The ball spotted at the 11 yard line. It's third down. Third down now for the Maslin Tigers. Ball on the 11 yard line. Slaughter. Oh. Looks like it doesn't even an offsides call on Glen Oak. Offside against Glen Oak. That is going to put the Glen Oak Eagles in another dangerous position. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson, and Hartson looks for that, that opening. Tries to push through the crowd of Glen Oak. Hartson wrapped up by a plethora of Eagles. Looks like a big clash on the field. Both lines going at it. It looks like they are going to go for the three point. Number 87, Nolan Hendricks. To kick 87, Nolan Hendricks. And the kick is good, bringing our score to Madison Tigers seven, Glen Oak zero. Flag down. Oh, there's a there's a flag on the play. So let's see how that impacts that. First down out for the Tigers. Looks like the flag was on Glen Oak. Bringing us to the two yard line. Second and goal now for the Madison Tigers. Slaughter takes a snap. Looks like it was, it was meant to be a handoff to Hartson. 
come on the play. Looks like Glen Oak got the ball. Covered the ball just, just barely on the second yard line. That was incredible. I'm gonna save this from being a 14 point lead game. Now let's see if they can do something with it and bring out their offense. First time we get to see Maslin's defense tonight. Say there is a flag on the play. Looks like it is going to be on Glen Oak, and they're just going to get pushed back even more. I mean, that's a long way to go for them. We've seen many teams do it before. Yeah? Now the question is, can Maslin get a safety out of this, or is Glen Oak going to easily be able to get this ball out of there? It's a tough spot for him. Glenno takes a snap, hands it off, tries to run up the middle, but the Masson defense gets in there, stops that from happening. Second made by number 12, Brandon Carmen. Carrying that was number 12. Oh, sorry. I believe that tackle was by number 12 of the Masson Tigers. Glen Oak taking the snap. He's going for a pass. Trying to find somebody open. Looks like Masson could pick up the safety here. He doesn't get out of there soon. Looks like he's going to be running, knocked out of bounds. Almost got snatched by Maslin's behemoth, Marcus Moore. That could end in a disaster for him. First down now for Glen Oak. Ball on the 16 yard line. Glen Oak hands off again. Goes to the right, knocked out of bounds. Second down now for Glen Oak, ball on the 23 yard line. Timeout called Maslin Timeout. And now a message from Doring Vision Center. Thank you to the Playlifters Rules Board of Education. Proper eye care is important. Doring Vision Center in downtown Maslin is a primary care optometry clinic. They use the latest technology and can treat most eye disease conditions. Doring Vision Center welcomes emergency eye visits and same day appointments may be available. Most insurances are accepted, including government plans. Don't forget their optical showroom, featuring a wide variety of frames. From everyone at Doring Vision Center, Go Tigers! Big thanks from Doring Vision Center. Real estate market for over 18 years. Denise and her family are proud supporters of the Plain Township community. When it's time to buy or sell your home, your friends and family will tell you, call Denise. Second down now for Glen Oak. Six minutes and 23 seconds remaining. Glen Oak hands it off again. Tries to push through. 
Avante Burt, the ball carrier. Carrying that was number six, Avante Burt. Tackle made by number one, Jaden Welch. It does look like they're not gaining much ground, but they are still getting those first downs. It seems like the mass backfield is really swarming up this time. First and 10 now for Glen Oak. With our score being Mass and Tiger 7, Glen Oak 0. Six minutes remaining. And now another message from Friends and Family Credit Union. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop into one of our locations today and become a friend of the family. I'm Scott Laudermilk, personal trainer at the Maslin YMCA. I have some good news. I bet you're going to tell them that we've been in the community for over 100 years and we have two locations. And the YMCA offers financial assistance and income-based pricing so everyone is welcome. Remember, we also offer child care, full and half day preschool, school day off programs, before and after school, and summer camp. I was just going to say we got weights, baby! <laughs> Coming back, Burt takes the snap. Thank you to Friends and Family, Credit Union, and the Massive YMCA. Second and 10 now for Glen Oak. Ball on the 28-yard line. Could have been a gain of about 15 yards if he would have made that catch. But he was being swarmed by quite a few Tigers there. Say there's going to be a foul against Glen Oak, putting them a little bit farther back. Making it second and 15 now for Glen Oak. Five minutes and 39 seconds remaining in our first quarter. In QB position, we have number two, Adrian Burt. Burt takes a snap. He's going to go for a pass, but he found that opening. He's just taking it. Looks to be down at. Look at the legs on him. Yard. Ran that like a running back. He was looking for somebody that was open, but he's just seen that gap and just took his opportunity to get some more yards, get that first down for Glen Oak. Burt takes a snap, hands it off. Hand off was number six, Avante Burt. Second and six now for Glen Oak, ball on the 50 yard line. Four minutes and 42 seconds remaining in our first quarter. Burt takes a snap, hands it off again. He's looking for that gap, but just couldn't get in there. The massive defense just broke through. 
drawing him back. Number, that was number six, Avante Burt. Looks uh, the tackle was by number 96 for the Tigers, Malachi Card. Those look like they're going to call him down only at, looks like the 46 yard line. Third and 10 now for Glen Oak. Burt takes a snap, looking for a pass. There's a flag on the play. Complete pass from Burt. Looks like pass was completed to number six, Avante Burt. Looks like that tackle was made by Zachary Lee, number 10 for the Tigers. Fourth down now for the mat, or for Glen Oak. Ball on the 44-yard line. And now a message from Home Appliance. It's where we come together, where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry Appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. Thank you again from Home Appliance. Returning back from the timeout, it's now fourth and 12 for Glen Oak. Three minutes and 35 seconds remaining. Our score being Mass and Tiger seven, Glen Oak zero. Looks like the Glen Oak Eagles look to punt this one away. Eagles punt the ball. Receiving that, or returning that was number 21, Braylon Tolls. Doesn't look like a big kid, but he can hit. Ball spotted at the 25-yard line, first and 10, Masson. First and 10 now for the Masson Tigers. Ball on our 25-yard line. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to heart, or hands off to number 17, Freddie Lennox Jr. Freddie Lennox Jr. The Tackle made by number 56, Isaiah Shackelford. Gain of two on the play, second down. Second and eight now for the Madison Tigers. Slaughter receives the snap, hands off to Lennox Jr. Runs up the middle. Lennox Jr. the ball carrier. I think the Glen Oak defense is starting to get accustomed to, to uh, Maslin's run game. Kind of been shutting them down these past couple plays. Yeah, I mean, definitely doesn't compare to in the beginning where Hartson was just running everywhere. That's how they got that first touchdown. They just kept getting. 10 yards, 15 yards, kept going down the line. That's what you got to do. That's how you win ball games right there. Slaughter takes a snap. Hands off again to Freddie Lennox Jr. Runs up the middle. 
swiftly take it down by number 30. Fourth down now for the Madison Tigers. It looks like they are bringing out number 87, Nolan Hendricks, to punt. Snapper number three, Angelo Salvino. And the kick goes off out. Out of bounds at the Glen Oak 41 yard, line. At the Glen Oak 41 yard line. Seems like the Maslin defense is starting to come back out. See if they can stop this play. Adrian Burt in position for QB again. Burt takes a snap, hands it off, looking for that opening. It's brought down by Maslin's number eight, Dante Fraser. Sorry, that was number nine, Maverick Clark. Clark. Second and 11 now for the Glen Oak Eagles. One minute remaining in our first quarter. Ball on the 39 yard line. Burt takes a snap. Fake handoff, runs up that middle, looking for that gap. Looks like he's gonna get the first down. Looks like the ball is down on the 49 yard line. Looks like that tackle was made by De'Aire Pringle, number 30 for the Tigers. It does seem like Golden Eagles are gonna get their first down though. Burt takes the snap again, hands it off to number six, Vontae Burt. Looks like there's going to be a flag on the play. Looks like that tackle was by number one, Jaden Welch. It was a flag down, but I think it is going to be on Glen Oak. It is a holding call against Glen Oak. We get it first and 20 for Glen Oak. With less than eight seconds remaining on the clock. Burt receiving the snap. Looks like he's going to be sacked by Madison's number 33, Cody Fair. Got to make sure those gaps are covered. Things like that will happen. And now a message from WHS Alumni Association. The Washington High School Alumni Association provides many services to the alumnus and the community. One of the most rewarding things is helping classes with their class reunions or milestone birthday celebrations. If a class chooses to use the Alumni Association, envelopes and labels will be provided at no cost and your invitations will be mailed out as bulk mail, which is a cheaper cost to the class. The Alumni Association also prints a newsletter twice a year. If you make an annual donation of no less than $5, you will receive the newsletter via mail in the spring and fall. If you have moved or your contact information has changed, please visit our website at maslinwhsaa.org and complete the alumni information form to make any changes. If you are interested in joining the Alumni Association, please contact any trustee or call the alumni office at 330-830. 3901, extension 51617. 
Thank you again from our sponsor, WHS Alumni Association. That brings us now to our second quarter of tonight's game. Second down now for Glen Oak. Ball on the 37 yard line. I want to mention something real quick, Braden. I want to really just give props to the, the Maslin D line right now, constantly keeping pressure. I mean, you've seen it here. Wherever you're watching, their quarterback's got some quick feet, and they're just keeping constant pressure on them. Burt taking the snap to step back for a pass. Pass is complete. Adrian Burt's pass complete to number one, Xavier Harris. And that pass was to number one, Xavier Harris. That tackle was made by number 30, De'Aaron Pringle. Third down now for the Glen Oak Eagles. Five to go to get that first down. Ball on their 44-yard line. Burt takes a snap. Hands off again. Looks for a pass. Pass is incomplete. Looks like there is flags on the play, though. Pass was intended for number 13. Couture Ashcraft. It looked like it was on mass. Looks like that call is going to be a pass interference call on Maslin. It's like number one, Jaden Welch. Well spotted at the Maslin 29 yard line. That is a Glen Oak first down. First and 10 now for Glen Oak. Ball is placed on the 29 yard line. Our score being Maslin Tiger 7, Glen Oak 0. Burt takes the snap, hands off again. Just applying that pressure. Massa number 45 just dragging him back. Michael Wright Jr. on, on the tackle. You gotta be able to hold those, those defensive tackles. You got big guys like Marcus Moore, and Mike Wright Jr. like you just saw. You let them through, you're letting the big dog eat. You can't let that happen. Plays like this will happen. Drive you back to go eight yards. Luckily, he was home, a little short of how far he actually did, did end up going. Ball on the 34-yard line now for the Glen Oak Eagles. Second down. Burt takes a snap. There's a flag on the play. Another delay of game call. It's going to be their second. Ball on the 39 yard line, third and 20 to go for the Glen Oak Eagles. Burt takes a snap. Fake handoff, looking for an opening. Looks like he's gonna have to run out of bounds. Flag on the play. Quarterback keeper. Quarterback keeper for number, number two, Adrian Burt. It looks like it's going to be a holding penalty against Glen Oak. Not looking good for the Glen Oak Eagles. Just getting pushed back further and further. It's already third down. They got quite a ways to go.
Burt takes a snap. Steps back, almost getting, or gets sacked by the Madison Tigers. I mean, our Madison defense is doing a great job of applying that pressure. Really opened up that gap for that, that inside linebacker to shoot right through. That was number 30, De'Aaron Pringle for the Tigers. That was a beautiful tackle there. Fourth down now for the Glen Oak Eagles. Nine minutes and 24 seconds remaining in our second quarter. Looks like they are going to punt it. going to be a flag on the play though. Ball is down at the 23 yard line. Looks like the ball is down at the 23 yard line. Tune in every Tuesday night at 7.30 for the Nate Moore Show on WHS-TV each week. Coach Moore reviews the previous game and looks ahead to the next opponent. Plus, you'll meet a Tiger captain. Watch the Nate Moore Show every Wednesday night at 7.30 on WHS-TV. Find us on MCTV, channel 611 or 11. Looks like it's going to be a flag against the Madison Tigers. Making it first and ten now for the Glen Oak Eagles. I believe Maslin actually has the ball. Yeah, sorry. Slaughter takes a snap, hands it off to Hartson. Hartson finds that gap up the middle. Great work today by so far by both defensive lines. Glen Oak is really big number 99 that I'm seeing on the field right now. It's taking up to three people to keep him back. That is number 99, Omar Ford for the Glen Oak Eagles. Slaughter receives a snap, steps back for a pass. It's going to be a deep pass. Pass is complete to number 21 on the Madison Tigers. Braylon Tolls. You see that much from a sophomore. That was an amazing catch. First and 10 now for the Madison Tigers. Ball on the 46 yard line. Eight minutes and seven seconds remaining our uh, second quarter. Slaughter takes a snap. Short pass to number 19. Looks like he's tripped and he's down. But that pass was complete to number 19, Kyler Wiggins. Sorry, that was number 18, Ardell Banks. Sorry, number 19, Kyler Wiggins. Slaughter receives the snap. Steps back for another pass. Looks like he has a little bit of pressure on him, so he's going to have to run it. Pass the 50, 40. Looks like he goes out at about the 35 yard line. Looks like there is a flag on the play, though. Flag down. A lot of flags these first two quarters. Holding is the call against Massillon. It was a holding call against Mass and Tigers. He's going to drop it back about five yards. Balls move back to the Glen Oak 44 yard line. Second down. Second down now for the Mass and Tigers. 20 to go. Ball on the 44 yard line. 
Slaughter takes a snap, steps back for a pass. Pass was incomplete. Looked like it was intended for number 19, Kyler Wiggins. So that one went a little over his head. Got to give this kid some. Got to give him some props. He's got quite an arm. Thinking that he hopefully will still be with the Tigers for the next two years. Slaughter takes a snap, steps back for a pass. Looks like he's going to be sacked by number 20. Jalen Slaughter. Najir corner. Sorry, there's number 30, Noah Williams. Brings our ball now to the 35-yard line. It's like Glenn Oak now has possession of the ball. That was Scratch that. Maslow has now one fourth down. Kicking for Maslin is number 87, Nolan Hendricks. Received by Glen Oak, number 10, Hunter Curlow. The door has been open for the Glen Oak Eagles. See their offense come out. Seen a few plays. Get some, quite a bit of yardage. Brings me back to what I was saying about the versatile team. They can run the ball. They got a nice quarterback. He's got some speed. He can throw the ball. He's got a nice arm. Let's just see if they can actually see if their line can pull it off for enough time. First and 10 now for Glen Oak. Ball on the 30-yard line. Burton position for QB. Takes a snap. Hands off to number six, Avante Burt. Burt trying to find that gap and then going to the right side. Looks like he's going to be knocked out of bounds by Massa Tigers. Tackle made by number one, Jaden Welch. Tackle made by number one, Jaden Welch. Second, second and six now for the Glen Oak Eagles. Six minutes remaining in our second quarter. Our score being Mass and Tiger seven, Glen Oak zero. Ball on the 34 yard line. Adrian Burt takes a snap. Looks like he's gonna drop it. Looks like the Tigers just run in there. Get that sack. Looks like that tackle was made by number 12. Scratch that is number 52, Marcus Ford. Puts our ball now on the 25 yard line. Third and 15 for the Glen Oak Eagles. Burt takes a snap. Another, another drop. Fumble recovered by the Glen Oak Eagles. I don't know if that's something with the center there or maybe Glenn Oak is having, QB is having a little trouble grabbing that ball. Might become a problem for him later, if not right now, because they are coming out the line. Fourth and 20 now for the Glen Oak Eagles. And now a message from Spectrum Orthopedics. Orthopedic injuries can happen at any time. Sometimes they're minor and a trip to our urgent care is appropriate. And sometimes life finds you with a traumatic orthopedic injury. At Spectrum Orthopedics, 
Our skilled orthopedic trauma surgeons will be there for you, ready to treat the most delicate of cases with the highest quality of care and simple human kindness, so you can get back to life faster. Spectrum Orthopedics, we are here for you. Thank you again to our sponsor, Spectrum Orthopedics. Deep from Massillon, number 10, Zachary Lieber. Hunting for the Eagles, number 11, Gino. Hunting for the Eagles is number 11. Or, sorry. Leno kicks it. I'm saying it's going to be out at the 50 yard line. Great bounce. That ball bounced a good 20 yards. Got it to about the 50. First inside Massillon at the 50 yard line. So far, this has become a real back and forth game. Not really seen to gain much ground. Masson offense coming out. First and 10, ball on our 50 yard line. Four minutes and seven seconds remaining until we go into our halftime. Let's see if Mass on offense can finally put some more points on the board. Get their lead up by another seven points. Or possibly three. Tune in every Wednesday following the Nate Moore Show for Swing on WHS TV. Each week, the Tiger or the Tiger Swing Band director Jason Neal will catch you up on all the band news, and you'll get a preview of the next week's halftime show. Watch Swing with Jason Neal every Wednesday night following the Nate Moore Show on WHS TV. Find us on MCTV, channel 611 or 11. I don't know what the confusion is here, but. It does not seem like they're running the play clock, so I think it is something with the refs. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting Tiger football as our Tigers go on the road to take on Mansfield Tigers. Watch the rebroadcast on WHS TV on September 3rd, 4th, and 5th at 12, 4, and 8. And on September 6th at 8 p.m. Catch all the action of the Mass on Tiger football all season long on WHS TV. Watch us on MCTV, channel 611 or 11. All right, now I think they're ready. I believe that delay was due to a little confusion by the refs. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson finds that gap up the middle. So his helmet's off. Looks like that helmet was torn off. Looks like he lost the mouthpiece too. That could have been bad. Let's be thankful he walked out of that all right. Looks like he was just tugging on the back of him. And there is a flag on the play. If I had to guess, I'm assuming that's going to be on Face defense. Face mask against Glen Oak. It will give the Tigers the first down. Ball on the 27-yard line. Three minutes and 55 seconds remaining in our, in our first our second quarter. Sutter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson goes to the left. Now I 
think the Tigers are starting to build up some momentum. Getting about five or six yards per play. See if they can keep it moving and get some points on the board. Second and one now for the Madison Tigers. Three minutes and 24 seconds remaining in our second quarter. Ball on the 18 yard line. Slaughter taking the snap. Hands off to Hartson. Hartson pushes up that middle. Doesn't look like he's going to make many yards on that play, if not maybe one. But it does give our Mass and Tigers a first down. So first and ten with the ball on the four yard line. Three minutes and five seconds remaining in our second quarter. Slaughter takes the snap, steps back for a pass. Looks like to be a deep pass in the end zone. Just a little too far. Pass was incomplete, intended for number 18. Number 18, Ardell Banks. Looks like trouble. Same thing that happened last week against Muller. Doesn't seem like Slaughter can Looks like he's really having a hard time judging the distance. He keeps putting it a little over their head. Second and 10 now for the Madison Tigers. Sutter takes a snap, hands off to Lennox Jr. Finds that opening a little to the right. Bobs and weaves through the Glen Oak defense. Down and two. Third and two now for the Madison Tigers. Ball on the six yard line with just two minutes and 11 seconds remaining in our second quarter. Sutter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson pushes up the middle. Oh, big hit by Hartson right there. That defender does still manage to take him down. Man, I guarantee you he's seeing stars. Pumped up crowd here tonight. Hear him cheering all the time. That's what we like to see. Looks like there's going to be a timeout. And now a message from Discount Outlet. Discount Outlet is bringing you the latest and greatest deals you have to see to believe. We have huge selections at closeout prices for all of your everyday essentials, clothing, toys, home decor, and much more. When we say tiny, tiny prices, prices are, are a big deal, deal, that means big savings on all of your favorite name brand products. Start saving today at Discount Outlet on First Street in Massillon. The treasure hunt starts here. Miss a day, miss a deal. Discount Outlet, where tiny prices are a big deal. Big thanks to our sponsor, Discount Outlet. First and three now for the Madison Tigers. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson again. Hartson pushes up the middle. And just gets blown back by three defenders from Glen Oak. Looks like the Gunnel defense is starting to pick up on our constant plays of putting Hearts up the middle, pushing him through. Really blitzing those. Seems like Glen Oak is trying to blitz those linebackers, trying to help out with the defensive line, which it's been working so far. Most of these big plays have been big passes. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson pushes to the left. So he's going to be running. So he's going to be on the two-yard line. 
Actually, it's going to be a touchdown for the Madison Tigers. Just barely reached in there that time. Really impressive there by Will Trail Hartson. Brings our score to the Madison Tigers 13, Glen Oak Eagles 0. As our Madison Village idiots run back and forth through the crowd. Is that SpongeBob themed Village Idiots I see down there? Looks like it is. Kicking for us is number five, Vinnie Keller. There is going to be a flag on the play. It does look like. Looks like one defender had a little time getting off the field. Looks like he seems to be. Might have got the wind knocked out of him there. and that offense coming back out. A little more confusion in the field, looks like. And now a message from the Massillon Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Big thanks to Maslin Boys and Girls Club. And it looks like I'm pretty sure the flag was on Glen Oak. Uh, they didn't call it, but they did give the uh, point to Maslin Tigers. So that brings our score to Maslin 14, Glen Oak 0, with 42 seconds left in our second quarter. Looks like Maslin's going to kick it off. Looks like number 87, Nolan Hendricks. Pretty nice kick by Hendricks. Picked up at around the 20 yard line by the Glen Oak Eagles. And it's tackled by Masson's number three, Angelo Salvino. <laughs> 35 seconds remaining in our second quarter. Spotted at the 16-yard line, first and 10, Glen Oak. Masson's defensive unit coming out. First and 10 now for Glen Oak offense. Ball on the 16-yard line. Now let's see if... Let's see if Glen Oak can put some points on the board before the half. Burt takes a snap, hands it off again. Looks like he's scrambling to find an opening. It's brought down by the Masson Tigers. Looks like that, that hit was Marcus Moore. And that's going to lead us in to our halftime. For our halftime show, here's a message from Buell and Oliveira Insurance and Discount Tire Outlet. If you're like most people, your life is a series of brush strokes, large, 
and small. Moments from the everyday to the extraordinary. As you move through your world, let Grange Insurance and an independent agent put the finishing touches on an insurance plan to meet your needs. Now, that's a stroke of genius. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange Independent Agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. There's a simpler way to buy tires at Tire Pros. We're hassle free, guaranteed. Before our band comes out, or while our band comes out, big thanks to Buell and Oliveri Insurance and Discount Tire Outlet. And here is our 2022 Mass and Tiger Swing Band for their halftime performance.
This next number brings us back to the good old U.S. of A. Using a song made famous by the Glenn Miller Orchestra, here is American Patrol. of our band. Enjoy our version of A Night in Tunisia. And a big thank you goes out to our Mass and Tiger Swing Band for all the hard work they put into making our halftime show as amazing as it is every single week. And now a word from the WHS Alumni Association and your pizza shop. The WHS Alumni Scholarship Committee is a branch of the Alumni Association that began in 1986. To date, the committee has given out over 600 scholarships to WHS graduating seniors, totaling over $825,000. They currently give scholarships of $1,000 each to as many as 35 qualifying seniors and to the winners of the Miss Massalonian and Outstanding Senior Boy Award. The funding for scholarships comes directly from donations at their annual fundraising event, the Distinguished Citizens Banquet.
Fresh, great tasting pizza can be difficult to find. Your pizza shop, located on Mathlin's west side, has been making delicious pizzas since the 1960s. Their large menu includes your favorite pizzas and toppings, along with wings, pressure fried chicken, oven baked subs, and more. Their convenient drive through window is open. Delivery service is available too. Your Pizza Shop, located on the corner of Lincoln Way West and 32nd Street Northwest in Maslin. Hello, and welcome to the Stark County Humane Society. Today we're going to give you a few pointers when considering adopting a new furry friend. All animals here at the Stark County Humane Society are spayed, neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, dewormed, and if old enough, heartworm tested for our canine friends. Adopters will receive a free exam within two weeks of adoption at local veterinarian hospitals. We encourage all adopters to take full advantage of this. A one-time adoption fee is required for your new furry friend. When you adopt, you get an awesome adoption packet that includes treats for your new fur baby and savings for you. But this is not where the cost of adoption stops. Did you know the average cost of an animal like a new puppy or kitten can cost up to $500 annually? This includes annual veterinary visits, preventative care, and everyday supplies like crate, litter, food, toys. But I hope this doesn't scare you away. Adopting an animal is a huge responsibility and a commitment. Please take the time to consider the cost of adopting a new pet into your family today. I hope to see you soon at the Stark County Humane Society. Please visit our website or visit us on social media for more information. It's a green ticket. Coming back from our halftime show, Tigers getting ready. To get back on the field, maybe score a couple more touchdowns. Looking back at our first half, though, Robert, what did you notice or anything that you want to say? It all, what I've seen during this game, you got some pretty evenly matched teams. You got a good, you got a good throw, great, great speed on Glen Oaks quarterback. I believe that is number two. That is Adrian Burt. He's really got some speed. He's got a nice arm too. He can curl it down, but I think it really does come down to the defensive line. Oh, for both, sure. Both teams are really, really struggling keeping those D-lines apart. Like, we've seen it here. We, we've had sacks on both ends, keeping constant pressure. It all, it's really just a back-and-forth game, if, you, mm -hmm. if you're asking me. It's pretty evenly matched, and that's going to be for the first time in about six years. Want to take a look? A little over the, a little over the trees. You got to have a really nice sunset for this game. That pinkish blue it really does look nice. And Masson's also done a great job too. Uh, when Slaughter passes or hands off the ball to Hartson or Lennox Jr., they do a great job at pushing through that defensive line, getting the yards for Masson that they really need to get those first downs, get pushed closer and closer and closer to the end zone, which got them. There are two touchdowns they have so far. So I'm really excited to see what they have in the second half and how they're just going to improve from the first first half and just, I'm excited. They really just got to bring the energy. You got a pumped up crowd on both sides. It really makes it for a great game. It completely changes the atmosphere. Makes the game so much more fun to watch. So much more, like we're having fun doing this. Now before this kickoff, Everyone here at WHS would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support, allowing us to bring you tonight's game. That is Mears Nissan, Downtown Maslin Association, Doring Vision Center, Friends and Family Credit Union, the Maslin YMCA, the Home Appliance Company, the WHS Alumni Association, Spectrum Orthopedics, Discount Outlet, Maslin Boys and Girls Club, Yule and Oliveri Insurance, Discount Tire Outlet, Your Pizza Shop, Medicap Pharmacy, Cosmos Grill, Reliable Heating and Cooling, Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin, Erie Street Pub, and MCTV. Kicking off for the Maslin Tigers, number 87, Nolan Hendricks. Looks like it goes all the way back to the 20-yard line where it's picked up by Glen Oak. Glen Oak drives the ball about 10 yards until they go out of bounds. First the bounds by number three, Angelo Salvino. Forced out of bounds by number three, Angelo Salvino.
Looks like Glenn Oak now has the ball. Let's see if they can come out of half. Come back firing. First and 10 for Glen Oak. Good opportunity for him to start off on a really good note. And it's always important too, once you start off that second half, it, it kind of fuels it for the rest and it brings that energy. Adrian Burton line for QB. Sets up for a pass. It's knocked down. Looks like that was by Dier Pringle. Bring it back to what I said. It all comes down to momentum. You get that play, fire off another one. Forget about the last play. Just keep moving on. Don't let it drag you behind. Or let that play, let it uplift you. Make it motivate you. Make you want to do better. Once again, we have Adrian Burt in QB position as number two. Receives the snap, a little low snap. Steps back for a pass, but it's pressured by the Madison Tigers. He's looking for somebody to throw it to. But it's taken down by number 45 in the Madison Tigers for the sack. Michael Wright Jr. and also taken down by Madison Tigers number 12, Brandon Hartman. That's a huge setback. That's at least 20 yards. That brings us now to third down for Glen Oak. Third down. 27 to go. Ball on the nine yard line. Burt takes a snap, hands it off to number six, Avante Burt. Madison Tigers defense takes him down again. Looks like that tackle was made by number 33, Cody Fair. Those linebackers are on him real fast. It is really making it hard for them to run that ball. And here's the thing again, we were talking about just the energy that the Mass and Tiger fans are just bringing to this is definitely playing a big part in how our Tigers are playing. I mean, our defense is doing a great job. Gonna kicks the ball. Ball is received, or a ball rolls out to the 50 yard line. Dropped down by number 21. Braylon Tolls for the Mass and Tigers. Looks like that could have spelled disaster for the Tigers there. It looks like number 21, Braylon Tolles, tipped the ball. But very smartly jumped on the ball. He didn't really want to move. That was a smart play there. Masson's offense coming out for the first time in the second half. Nine minutes and 39 seconds to go in our third quarter. First and 10, ball on the 50-yard line. Let's see what they got. See if Glen Oaks defense can get a turnover, get the ball back. Slaughter taking the snap, steps back for a pass. A deep pass intended for number 21, wide open. Running all the way into the end zone, and there's another touchdown for the Madison Tigers by number 21, Braylon Tolles. What a that was pick. an excellent pass by Slaughter to Braylon Tolles. What a grab. I mean, Slaughter looked for somebody that was open, and Tolles really didn't have a guy right on top of him, and they had a great pass to him to get him that touchdown. Don't underestimate those small players. He really got some hands, and he's got some speed. Kicking this is number five, Vinny Keller. Holding it is number 14, Calix Collins. And the kick is good. Bringing our score to Massa Tigers 21, Glen Oak 0. Now a message from Medicap Pharmacy. <laughs> Medicap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from five to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait half hour to an hour. Probably the best uh, pharmacist in the city. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at Medicap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. Please 
please take the jam down immediately. Big thanks to Medicap Pharmacy. Kicking off again for the Madison Tigers, number 87, Nolan Hendricks. Looks like it's recovered by Glenn Oak on the five yard line. Taken down that 18 yard line. It didn't look like he had much to go. Got to give props to number 87, Nolan Hendricks. He got a boot. He is impressive, to say the least. Looks like the massive defense is coming out the way. First, First and ten now for the Glen Oak Eagles. Burton, QB position. Takes a snap. Steps back for a pass. Masson again, though, putting that pressure on him, bringing him down for another sack. Just like that. Just like that. Already being pushed back to the about the five yard line. Masson's defense is doing a great job this second half, breaking that offensive line, getting in there. And sack in the QB, just really? pushing them further and further back. Pardon me, Brandon. But really, really up to demoralization. I think they really have started to push that on them. Constant pressure. Burt takes a snap, steps back for another pass. Massa gets right in there again. Are they going to call it safety on that one? He's pretty close to the line. He's number 34 in the tackle, Dorian Pringle. It's like their line is starting to falter. People look like they're getting tired. We still got two quarters left. That's not a safety. However, it is third and 27 for the Eagles. A long way to go to get that first down. Ball's on the two yard line. Eight minutes and three seconds remaining in our third quarter. Burt takes a snap, hands it off again. Pushed out by number one, Jaden Welch. Running the ball was number six, Avante Burt. Looks like he had a little room to go. More for number one. I guarantee you he could have got quite a few yards on there. Looks like it is going to bring him down. Fourth down. Ooh. Kelly. kicks up, kicks it off. Recovered by number 10 the Massa Tigers. Looks like there is going to be a flag on the play, and I believe that it's going to be on the defense. It's going to be on the kicking team. Cannot, cannot touch that receiver. The kick was caught by it. number 10, Zachary Liebler. A 5'8", 150-pound junior. Interference on Glen Oak. And it is an interference call on Glen Oak. I believe that is going to put the Tigers up by at least 10 yards. First and 10, Tigers. First and 10 now for the Madison Tigers. Ball on the 29-yard line. I mean, what? What a great start for the Tigers for their offensive line. Really just constantly keeping pressure on that, on that offense, not letting them do a single thing. Slaughter takes a snap, steps back for a pass. Looking deep, open man. Number Pass was intended for number 17, Freddie Lennox Jr. Could have spelled a, another touchdown for the Tigers. Almost doubling their points less than, less than five minutes into the game.
Slaughter in position. Looks like the Tigers are trying to get him to jump there. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson finds that gap up the middle, just dodging, weaving. It looks like there's gonna be a fumble in the play. Looks like Glen Oak is gonna re he's gonna take the ball right back. Just popped out of Will Trout's hand. Got to have a good hold on that. Hartson did get a great or did have a great job though or did a great job at just finding those gaps, going in between Glen Oak Eagles. He's got a bob and weave. Looks like the Eagles are gonna have the ball back. Problem is, is that they're still in their own end zone. See if they can actually get out of it this time. First and 10 now for Glen Oak Eagles, ball on the nine yard line. Our score now, Mass and Tigers 21, Glen Oak zero. Burt takes a snap, steps back for a pass, just short. Intended for number 13, Kator Ashcraft. Second and 10 now, Glen Oak Eagles. Seven minutes and 23 seconds remain in our third quarter. Burt receives the snap, a little low slap, snap. Looks like he was gonna go for a pass there, but just the, the Mass and Tigers added that pressure onto him, kind of stressed him out. He was brought down by the Tigers. And again, those linebackers are eating him up. You got big names, you got Cody Fair, a lot of potential there. Calix Collins coming in with the assist on that tackle. Third and 10 now for the Glen Oak Eagles. Ball still in the nine yard line. Burt takes a snap, steps back for another pass. Sees that opening up the middle and is thinking about taking it. But just the Madison defense is quick to notice, but he's actually gonna go run for it. They just run straight up in the middle and get that tackle, preventing preventing Burt from, you know, really getting the yardage on that play. It's like Glen Oak is looking to punt this ball away. Hopefully get it downfield a little bit. Recovered by number, number 10, Zach Liebler. Making it up the field. Looks like he's going to be pushed out around the 45-yard line. Could have spelled disaster for the Tigers again. Lost control of that ball a little bit. Going to get them upfield, probably on the 50-yard line. They would have if they would have recovered, but it seems the Tigers are on about the 40, the 41-yard line. First and 10 now for Mass and Tigers. Five minutes and 47 seconds remaining in our third quarter. Slaughter takes a snap, hands it off to Lennox Jr. Lennox Jr. finds that gap. Pushes through, breaking tackles left and right. That was an impressive run right there. I saw him break at least three tackles going in between their defense. Constantly racking up those yards. Brings us to another first down for the Madison Tigers. Ball now on the 27 yard line and there is an injury on the field. Now a message from Doring Vision Center. Proper eye care is important. 
Doring Vision Center in downtown Massillon is a primary care optometry clinic. They use the latest technology and can treat most eye disease conditions. Doring Vision Center welcomes emergency eye visits and same-day appointments may be available. Most insurances are accepted, including government plans. Don't forget their optical showroom, featuring a wide variety of frames. From everyone at Doring Vision Center, Go Tigers! Thank you to our sponsor, Doring Vision Center. Coming back from the play, um, it's a little tough to see which Glen Oak injury was that uh, with the dark lights and the really small dark green numbers they have. It makes it a little difficult to see their jerseys sometimes. Still good he walked off the field though. Which is always a good thing. Slaughter takes a snap, steps back for a pass. A deep pass looks along to Ardell Banks. Looks like that's just going to be outside. Going to be right out of bounds. Just a little bit of a shorter pass, and Banks may have just had a touchdown there. We've been seeing that all night. He's kind of been overthrown. He's done it. He did it against Muller. He's doing it this game. Got to get that under control if you want to make big plays with those passes. Slaughter takes a snap. Steps back for another pass. Short pass. By number 21, Braylon Tolls breaks a tackle there and continues running. Third down now for the Madison Tigers. That's a seven yard gain. Three to go. Ball on the 27 yard, or not 27 yard line, I apologize. Ball on the 20 yard line. Slaughter receiving the snap. There is a flag on the play. I believe that's going to be on the defense. Offside on Glen Oak. Another like offsides play for Glen Oak. Second time Masson's been able to get them to do that tonight. The ball is spotted at the Glen Oak 15 yard line. That's an automatic first down. Brings the Madison Tigers to first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Just slowly driving closer and closer to the end zone. Slaughter receives a snap. Steps back for a pass. Looks like he's intercepted by Glen Oak. I don't know, Britton. He looked like he was down when he caught it. Yeah. Him. Does look like it is going to be an interception, though. Doesn't really put them in much better of a spot. They're still in their own end zone. Looks like we have another injury on the on the field. And it's going to be a touchback. And now a message from Friends and Family Credit Union. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Gina, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union, where we provide loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Hungry for a great lunch or dinner? Then it's time to head to Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. You'll enjoy their friendly, welcoming atmosphere and their hardworking wait staff. At Cosmos Grill, their large menu offers you a great selection of appetizers, soups, salads, entrees, and more. For a special treat, order one of their mouthwatering Hearthstone baked pizzas. Cooked up fresh and delicious every time. Carryout and curbside pickup are both available at Cosmos Grill, located in downtown Maslin. Thank you to Friends and Family Credit Union and Cosmos Grill. Coming back from the injury, it is going to be a touchback, giving Glen Oak the ball. First and 10 for the Eagles. Ball on the 20 yard line. Burt takes a snap, hands it off. Or a fake handoff. Looks to be down on the 25 yard line. 
a good five yard gain for Glen Oak. That was a nice fake. Fooled me. Good job for number six, Avante Berg. Running the ball was number six, Avante Berg. Tackled by number one, Jaden Welch. Second down. Second and six now for the Glen Oak Eagles. Ball on the 24 yard line. Burt taking the snap, hands it off again, but it's taken down by Masson's number 33, Cody Fair. That was a dangerous tackle right there. Could have landed him a penalty. Grabbing around that neck, you can't really do that. Burt takes a snap, steps back for a pass. Pass is incomplete. Intended for number six, Vontae Burt. For number six, Vontae Burt is incomplete. Coverage on the play by number 16, Ryan Page. It's fifth down. Good for Maslin, number 10, Zachary Lieber. And 21, Braylon Torrell is punting for the Eagles. Number 11, Gino Kelly. Punting for the Eagles is number 11, Gino Kelly. A lot of slow, or a lot of low snaps this game. Covered by Masses number 10, Zachary Liebler. First and 10 now for the Masson Tiger offense. Three minutes and 32 seconds remaining in our third quarter. Our score being the Masson Tigers 21, Glen Oak 0. I mean, slowly approach, approaching our fourth quarter. Glen Oak needs to be making some high plays here, getting some more touchdowns in, in order to you know match up. I think it comes down to energy. They just need more energy. Slaughter taking the snap, hands it off to Hartson. Hartson finds that gap up to the right. Looks to be tripped and down. At the 43 yard line. Again, a nice run by Hartson. Finding in those openings, taking that opportunity to gain the more yards for the Massa Tigers. Brings us to first and ten for our Massa Tigers. Slaughter taking the snap, hands off to Lennox Jr. This will be a hard contact. Freddie Lennox Jr. Freddie Lennox Jr. going out of bounds. Defense is all Take on them now. I think they're finally starting to get that run game down. Going to be pushing the Tigers into a tough spot, getting them into the passing game, which Jalen Slaughter has really not. He's had a few nice plays, but really has not had too much success with. Ball on the 44-yard line, second and nine to go for the Tigers. Slaughter taking the snap, hands off to Freddie Lennox Jr. Runs to the left. Finds that opening, misses a tackle, and goes down. Gives us the first down that the Massa Tigers wanted and needed. Looks like he might have bumped up his shin right there. He got hit pretty hard. And now a message from Mears Nissan. Getting this far hasn't been easy. We conquered uphill battles, unexpected twists, and moments that challenged our capability, showing up stronger every time. These tests prepare us to handle any territory. That's why Nissan spent generations testing limits and pushing boundaries, so you can experience the thrill of driving beyond your wildest dreams. This is the new Nissan. Powerful and playful, delicate and precise, bold and carefree. 
It's the way your hands, elbows, and shoulders move. At Spectrum Orthopedics, our skilled hand and upper extremity specialists offer custom treatment plans with cutting-edge surgical innovations. Our state-of-the-art building offers in-house MRI, surgical center, and physical therapy center. Spectrum Orthopedics, your leader in orthopedic care. You've got one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. There's so much special about Maslin. You can't walk down the street without smiling and saying hello to someone who knows you, who knows your family. In today's society, we're getting fewer and fewer opportunities for families to enjoy each other in an outside activity that is free. We have that. It's a strong community. People give back. Maslin continues to give back with the residents and businesses to those in need, and, and it's a great thing to be a part of. Welcome back, and I want to give a thanks to Nisa. Mears Nissan and Spectrum Orthopedics. That was a nasty hit. That was a really nasty hit on Freddie Lennox Jr. Good to see he's still walking off the field like that. Could have been really bad. It took him a little bit to get up. He just had to catch his breath. But I mean, he is walking back with a little bit of support. But I think he is limping a little bit back to the sideline. Sutter taking the snap, hands it off to Hartson. Hartson runs up the middle, finds that gap. He's running all the way to the 10-yard line. Looks to be a little bit out of the end zone. I think he might have stepped out of bounds there, probably around the five-yard line. But he just slipped right through that opening. And That's what you got to do. You got skilled guys. Everybody thinks running backs, you got to play fast, you got to play, you got to play strong, you got to play smart. When you're up against teams like this, you gotta play smart. First and goal now for the Masson Tigers. Two minutes and 44 seconds remaining in our third quarter. Timeout on the field. Looks like there's gonna be a timeout. Timeout, Masson. sure to tune in next week for more exciting Mass and Tiger football as our Tigers go to the road to take on Mansfield Tigers. Watch the rebroadcast on WHS TV on September 3rd, 4th, 5th at 12, 4 and 8 p.m. and on September 6th at 8 p.m. Catch all the action of Mass and Tiger football all season long on WHS TV. Watch us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. And as we come back for our timeout that Masson called, our score is Masson Tigers 21, Glen Oak 0. First and goal for our Masson Tigers. Slaughter in QB position. Takes a snap. Pass to Ardell Banks. Looks like it's gonna be an incomplete pass to Ardell Banks, number 18. Looks like it just barely bounced off his fingertips right there. Great coverage by the defensive back. Got to have a lot of skill to guard someone like that. Ardell's a good 6'4", 185 pound senior. Second and goal now for our Madison Tigers. Ball on the four yard line. Slaughter takes a snap, hands off to Hartson. Hartson pushes through there a little bit. Hartson the ball carrier. Brings us now to our third and goal. Also in on the tackle is 29 Ethan Lucas. Head down. Looks like it is going to be third down for the Tigers. Slaughter receives the snap. Hands off to Hartson. Hartson pushing through the middle. 
just pushing through guys. Looks like he's just a little short of the end zone. Parsons spins to the outside. Brings us now to fourth down. Looks like he's going to be right on the one yard line. I think we're going to see it again. He's going to push all he's got to get him over that line. He's going to rush everyone on that field. It's an all or nothing right here. With 47 seconds remaining in our third quarter, time is ticking. Slaughter taking the snap, pushing Hartson up that middle. It looks like we are going to get another touchdown for the Massive Tigers. Once again, Hartson did a great job of just pushing through the defensive line, getting another touchdown for our Massive Tigers. Just like that, another six points on the board. You cannot get such a mobile team like the Massive Tigers that close to your end zone. And they've been there. They've, been, they've made that their home, and they've made that really apparent this entire game. This is a Tiger-dominant game. The long snap at number 36, Landon Smith. In the hold, number 14, Calix Collins. To kick, Vinnie To kick, number five, Vinnie Keller. And holding is number 14, Calix Collins. Is kick is good, making our score of Masson 28, Glen Oak 0. And more Masson football after this announcement from Reliable Heating and Cooling. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's solar ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Lennox, air is life, make it perfect. Again, big thanks to Reliable Heating and Cooling. Coming back from our touchdown by number four, Wilshaw Hartson. Looks like kicking off for Masson is number 87, Nolan Hendricks. Thirty-nine point six seconds remaining in our third quarter. See how far Glenno can take this ball. Maybe push it up the middle. Another really, really far kick by Hendricks. And they're going to call it down on the 10 yard line for Glen Oak. And that was received by Glen Oak's number 10, Hunter Kirlo. Maybe could have got a few extra yards. Not much you can really do when the ball comes down that low. Kind of caught it on his knees right there. Counts as a down. So we have a first and 10 for Glen Oak. Ball on the 10 yard line. Just here's another time where Glen Oak is just closer and closer to their end zone and just have the whole field to travel to get that touchdown. It's a long walk. Burt taking the snap. Fake handoff, looks for a pass. The pass was incomplete. Pass was intended for number 10, Hunter Curlo. Second and ten now for the mass for the Eagles. Apologize. Burt taking the snap, a little low snap. It looks like it's going to be a safety. Once again, the Nassau defense did a great job of just pushing right in there. Looks like the ball is going to be on the two-yard line. Super close to getting that safety. 23 seconds remaining.
Burt taking the snap. Hands it off. Looks like it's going to be a fumble. Looks like Maslin has the ball. Number 34. Great recovery by Maslin. Bringing us straight into our fourth quarter. Looks like that's going to be a recovery by Dorian Pringle. And now a message from the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been a Front of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thanks to the message from the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. Coming out now, we have our Maslin offense. Really fun to watch this crowd. So full of energy, especially on the Maslin side. First and ten now for our Mass and Tigers. Correct me if I'm wrong, Braden, but it looks like the Glen Oak Eagles are in punt formation. I think there's a little confusion out there on the field. I thought the Tigers recovered the ball, but it would seem that Glen Oak still does have the ball. Not for long, that may be. So it does look like Glen Oak is going to punt. Uh, fourth down and 23. Punting for them is number 11, Gino Kelly. It's a really high kick, but not very far. Bounces back in. It's a really good kick help for the Masson Tigers. Good read by the defense. Catching that ball before it could go back even more, <laughs> giving the Tigers a little more, give them a little more unnecessary yardage for them. Not really much to control there. Looks like the Maslin offense is going to come back out. Put a few more points in the game. Correction, the 14 yard line, first and 10, Maslin. Slaughter takes a snap, steps back for a pass. Sees that pressure, but looking for someone. It's pass is complete to number 21, Braylon Toll. Taken down by number three, Muhammad Malka, for the Glen Oak Eagles. Looks like almost a face mask there by the Glen Oak Eagles. The Eagles did a great job on that play, putting the pressure onto Slaughter, kind of getting him to like quickly get it out of his hands. That's what makes him a really good quarterback. He can work under pressure, and he did just that. Slaughter takes the snap, hands off the ball. Number 28 for the Madison Tigers, Mylon Lennox. I believe that is Freddie Lennox Jr.'s younger brother. Good to see him stepping up. First and goal now for our Madison Tigers. I mean, in such quick time, too, from supposedly not recovering that fumble to 
getting the ball back. And looks to be another touchdown for the Madison Tigers. Number 28, Mylon Lennox on the play. Brings it back. Brings it back to the offensive line, really opening up that, opening up that gap for him. Run right through it. Is that one the touchdown? That would have been, I guarantee you, it would have been at least a 20-yard drive. Going for the extra point is number five, Vinny Keller, holding his number 14, Calix Collins. Looks to be if the kick is good, bringing our score to Masson Tigers 35, Glen Oak 0. More Tiger football coming up next after a word from Buffalo Wild Wings in Masson. B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free traditional wings on Wing Tuesdays. It's like hitting the lottery twice, right in the mouth. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Hey, Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Thanks again from our sponsor, Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin. Coming back for that, I mean, another touchdown for our Tigers. Uh, kicking off is number 87, Nolan Hendricks. And he is working hard tonight. I mean, I can't even count the amount of times he's kicked it back off. A little short kick. Looks to go out around the 30-yard line. Looks like there is a flag on the play, but that may be due to the ball going out of bounds. Masson's defensive unit coming out. Looks like the ball's going to be on a 35-yard line. First and 10 for the Glen Oak Eagles. Adrian Burt in position for QB. Burt taking the snap, hands it off. Masson puts the pressure on him again, makes that tackle. It's like number 82. Number 82, Jacquez Carter. Looks like Jacquez Carter. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Running the ball was number six, Avante Burt. Looks like Maslin's in the position to start subbing on some, some of their starting players. Give them a little bit of a break. Burt takes a snap, a little low snap there. Steps back for a short pass, completed. Looks to be taken down on the 44-yard line. Pass complete to number 13 of the Eagles, Kator Ashcraft. Looks like the line, defensive line really is breaking through that offensive line. You're seeing it about every single play. It's it's not looking good for the Glen Oak Eagles. See if they can get a, at least a few points by the end of the game. Nine minutes and 15 seconds to go in our fourth quarter. Burt taking the snap. Fake handoff. There's a flag on the play. To be a quarterback keeper. To be down at the 45 yard line. Quarterback keeper. Second made by 34, Dorian Pringle. Flag down. Tackle made by number 34, Dorian Pringle. Uh, looks like Glen Oak is subbing in a few people. Waiting on the referee decision. Looks like the penalty is going to be declined. Penalty is declined. It's fourth down. Fourth down now. The Glen Oak Eagles. Looks 
like they are going to go for it. Burt takes a snap, hands it off. Madison Tigers put that pressure, get in there. They are on him. Just like that, no yard gainage whatsoever. Bringing in our Maslin offensive team. I mean, this whole game, Maslin's done a great job at applying that pressure, breaking through that offensive line and making those tackles, stopping them from really gaining much yards. Really just, you gotta be able to keep that, not only keep that running back contained, but you gotta keep, especially with such a mobile quarterback that Glenn Oak has, you gotta be able to keep that quarterback. You gotta be able to keep him in one spot. Slaughter takes a snap, hands it off to number 47 for our Madison Tigers, Marquavion Young. Second down now for our Mass and Tigers. 12 to go, ball on the 45-yard line. Number, thir number 13 for the Mass Tigers takes the snap. Looks like he stumbled there. Vito McConnell. Carrying the ball was number 47, Marquavion Young. Flag down. And there's a flag on the play. It does look like that is going to be on mass on it. It is going to put them back quite a bit. Second and 25 now for the Mass and Tigers. Not in a good position. In for QB is number 13, Vito McConnell. McConnell takes a snap, hands it off to Young. Young finds that gap up the middle. Taken down by the Glen Oak Eagles. Sean Robinson, the ball carrier. Actually, my apologies, that was number 41, Sean Robinson. Tech made by number 25, Jane Gorham. Puts the Tigers at the 19 yard line. Down at 19. Or 19 to go, sorry. Third down, Tigers are in a tough position. See if they can get the ball off. They've done it before. See if they can do it again. New quarterback and a new running back. Either run it up the middle or pass it downfield. We'll see what happens. It kind of takes a snap, hands it off again up the middle. Running is number 41, Sean Robinson. 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 Does not look like he made it very far. Ball spotted at the 49 yard line. It's fourth down. Fourth and 16 now for the Masson Tigers. Ball on our 49 yard line. Runner at Curlo, deep for Leno. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Maslin is going for it. I think they are. Ten out on the field. Ten out and now, four. a message from Buell and Oliveri Insurance. One minute, you're out there living life to the fullest. The next thing you know, you've got sweeping changes to make and your family's future to think about. Talk to a Grange independent agent about how to save by putting all of your insurance with Grange, protecting your possessions and the ones you love. When things zig instead of zag. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange independent agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Big thanks to Buell and Oliveri Insurance. With 
fourth down and six to, 16 to go. I'm very curious to see what Masson, before the timeout, looked like they were going to go for it. I wonder if there's, looks like Hendricks is coming out. I believe they're going to punt it downfield. Four minutes and 20 seconds That's remain in our fourth four, quarter. Nolan Hendricks. Nolan Hendricks here to kick it off for us. Hendricks takes the kick. What a kick. Received by Glen Oak, but shortly taken down by our Madison Tigers. Right on him. Looks like that tackle was made by number three, Angelo Salvino. Also losing a shoe in the whole ordeal. Receiving that kick was number 10, Hunter Curlo. Bringing out Glen Oak's offenses team again with three minutes and 57 seconds to go. First and 10 for them. It looks like Mass really trying and bringing out some of their subs, giving some of them younger guys, giving some of their younger guys a try. Ball on the seven yard line. Burt takes a snap, hands it off to the left. Looks to go out around the 19 yard line. Looks like that tackle was by number three, Angelo Salvino. Jamar Johnson, Jamar the Johnson carrying the ball. Even with the subs in, Maslin is still ball able to apply that pressure. Glenock takes a snap. Tackled shortly, though, by number 15 on the Madison Tigers. Tamari Minard. Now I do believe Glen Oak has pulled out another QB. Looks to be... Looks to be number 12. Cole Anderson. See if he can do a little better. Anderson takes a snap, hands it off to number eight, Johnson. Going right back on him. Jamar Johnson, the ball carrier. Tackle again by Second Damari by Menard, number 15. Number 15. Damari Menard. Head down. Third and two now for the Glen Oak Eagles with less than two minutes remaining in our final quarter of the night. Anderson takes a snap, steps back for a pass. But he's going to keep it, but is knocked out by a hard hit by our Mass Tigers, number 82, Jaquise Carter. You can hear the whole crowd say, that was a nice hit. Sent him straight into the Tigers' very own sideline. First and 10 now for the Glen Oak Eagles. Ball on the 37-yard line. A minute and 20 seconds to go. Time is ticking down for the Eagles. Anderson taking the snap. Handoff again to number eight, Johnson. Another tackle by number 15, Damari Menard. They did get, uh, they did gain a pretty good amount of yardage now in second and two now for the Glen Oak Eagles. From a game that we thought be pretty evenly matched to a Tiger victory. Anderson takes a snap. Fake handoff, steps back for a pass. Deep pass to number one. Xavier Harris taken down by our Tiger shortly after. 30 seconds to go in our fourth quarter. Carl Anderson's pass complete to number one, Xavier Harris. Looks like they're gonna hurry up and try and get a playoff. Hopefully see if they can put some points on before the end of the game. Anderson, that's again, steps back for a pass. Masson applying that pressure. Looks like it's going to be caught by Glen Oak. 
Leno did end up actually getting points in the game. Looks like that catch was by number, number 13. That is Couture Ashcraft. And it is going to bring our score to Madison Tigers 35. Glen Oak 6. And going for the extra point. Looks like the kick is good. That brings our score at Madison Tigers 35, Glen Oak 7. And now a message from Buell and Oliveri Insurance. Big games on. You could watch a game like this. Or you could watch a game like this surrounded by fans just like you. At the Erie Street Pub, the game never ends. Open seven days a week. Erie Street Pub has pub style food at the right price with daily lunch specials. Wednesday is ladies night and enjoy our large outside bar and patio. What's keeping you from the Uri Street Pub? Just up the road from Genshaft Fields. What are you waiting for? Come join us at Uri Street Pub. Thank you again, that is my bad. That was Uri Street Pub. Thank you for sponsoring the Mass and Tigers. Final play for the night. Number 16. Also deep, number 20. It does look like it is going to crop up as a massive win. Great game tonight. Covered by Masson. Down at the 45 yard line, and that is going to tick tonight's game. Masson Tigers 35, Glen Oak 7. And now, a message from the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thank you for sponsoring the Maslin Tigers, Maslin Boys and Girls Club. As we wrapped up tonight's coverage of Maslin Tiger football, we want to take the time to thank the members of our WHS TV crew. Tonight's production crew includes on cameras Matt Gingras and Kendrick Mellows. Tonight's color commentator is Robert Fralick, and I'm Braden Geyer, your play-by-play -play announcer. Also, big thank you goes out to our directors, Mr. Dewald and Mr. Rock. Once again, our final score was Maslin 35, Glen Oak 7. And once again, everyone here at WHS TV wishes to thank all of our season-long sponsors and our good friends at MCTV. Thanks for watching Mass and Tiger football this season on WHS TV. Our family relies on the internet every day. We both work from home at times, so our Wi-Fi has to be fast and reliable. We learn with it, laugh with it, and count on it for lots of devices in our home. Your family depends on quality internet and Wi-Fi. That's why MCTV provides internet speeds and whole home Wi-Fi to keep you close to what matters most. To learn more about our internet and Wi-Fi options, visit mctvohio.com.